today we're sitting here with Dr. G. B. Nair. Uh, Dr. Nair, what is your impression of Amrita, and more specifically, Amrita School of Biotechnology and BioCrest 2015? Oh, I have. Uh, this is my first visit, though I was invited once earlier, and uh, but could not make it. But I quite enjoyed this trip. Uh, what I liked about the campus was the transformation from a rural setting into uh, uh, a world-class place, I mean, in terms of your building, in terms of uh, what you have up here, and in terms of the science that you're doing. So, very impressed, to be brief, very, very impressed by the place, and I'm sure to be here back again. What is your view on the future of biotechnology, and along with that, your view on the global impact of biotechnology and its comparison with its impact in India? Biotechnology, the future of biotechnology, I think this is about the best time in biological sciences to be in biotech. There's a, a renaissance in microbiology, there's a renaissance in several other areas, but biotech is going to show the path ahead. And I think uh, students choosing biotech are probably at the cutting edge of science, both from a technology and a biology point of view. The growth of biotech in uh, India is much slower than that of other countries, especially the West. But this is, I see this, this will change, especially in relation to natural products and things like that. If India takes a leap into that area, we'll be probably global leaders. What advice would you give biotechnology students? Biotech students, as I always, uh, is the same kind of ad advice I give to my students across, is uh, challenge what you currently think are dogmas or definitions. Don't, don't be scared to do that. And uh, of course, uh, I tell all my students who have done a doctoral degree with me is just plain hard work would take you very far. And I'm not sure if you've had a chance yet to meet the Chancellor of the University, Amma. Um, if you have, or from based off of what you've heard, what is your, uh, what are your thoughts on Amma? I have met Amma uh, through a meeting which was arranged by Dr. Bipin Nair in Delhi. That was some time back, and uh, I just think she's an extraordinary individual with extraordinary uh, abilities. I mean, just uh, the fact that uh, she can hug people for about 11 hours is something which is, is, is out of this world, and I have great respect, and uh, I have uh, great devotion also to Amma. Thank you so much, sir. Um,